welcome back to my channel this is your girl mel um i want to say thank you for sticking up to this channel um as you can tell from the title you already know i'm going to be talking about nursing um so you guys i'm pretty sure I'm, i said it multiple times but i'm currently working as a lpm which is a licensed practical nurse um and that's very different from being a registered nurse for those of you who do not know um and so i'm going to be talking about the lpns for iron transition and that has to do really with school um if you know for whatever reason you cannot do um rn school at this moment you can always apply for lpn school and then once you get your lpn then you can do a transition you know from an lpn to an rn program which i'm going to get into but first um i do want to mention about the differences between um an lpn what an lpn does and what an rn does just a quick really overview so LPNs, basically, generally, what an LPN does, which is licensed practical nurse or licensed vocational nursing, depending on the state, is that basically they provide comfort care to the patient. And um, by comfort care, they mean, you know, helping with the feeding, helping with the, with the bathing of the patient, and, you know, basically making them comfortable. Um, we do not get any unstable patient. That's usually what an RN does. And so for us to be care to take care of a patient, the patient has to be stable. Um, so with the LPN, the, it varies state by state because um, some states, LPNs are able to do a lot more than other states cannot do. So for example, at LPN, um, we work under the RN. There's always an RN that is there to supervise us. Um, we, assist with, we assist them also. So with the LPNs, whereas the RN really they usually the RNs usually the charge nurse, but sometimes the LPN can be a charge nurse, depending on the situation, depending on the facility, or depending really depending on the facility. Because in the hospital, LPNs do not do much. So I know in some facilities, um, in some states, the LPN does administer medications. We um, definitely you know are involved with the care of the patient meaning with the plan of care and also we do not do any we do not have anything to do with blood so what that means is we do not do blood transfusions um we do not collect blood we could not we do not collect blood for um labs or for whatever reason we do not have anything to do with that and we have and we do not get involved um with anything that has to do with um you know cancer treatments and stuff like that that's not within our scope of our, um, practice however um back to the blood transfusions i think it, they said somewhere that a lpn can do it unless they have a certification for that and also technically a lpn is not supposed to give any iv meds but i do know that in some facilities in some states they are able to do that you know um whether you have a certification or not usually our end deals with all the iv medication the iv drips and stuff like that so it is um that we do we are essentially the same but at the same time we have we are very limited lpns are very limited to what um they can do whereas an rn you know they can do pretty much everything except diagnose a patient that falls under the doctor's scope of practice um and what else but that's about it really the sort of brief overview about the difference between lpn to rn now for me working as an lpn i feel very limited only because i want to know more i want to be able to do more and the reason why i did do the lpn program was because at the time it was easier for me to do the lpn program um as opposed to the rn program the lpn was only one year program so if you guys are very interested in nursing you can start as a cna then lpns they rn then msn you just build your way up I just wanted to start with the basic just to you know work with my um comfort level and my confidence um yo this light is like blaring i feel like i have to keep my head down for this um so what else oh um so yeah so i did the lpn for a year and right now i'm in school for our program and let me tell you guys my RN program right now is killing me. I mean, of course, we're in the summertime, but I'm dreading the time um, the time that the nursing school starts back up again. Um, but anyway, I'm going off topic. But LPN, 
um after making an lpn i wanted to get some year and years in because in order for you to try to do an lpn to rn transition you have to have an experience at least one year of experience as an lpn and so i applied of course i got in and the lpn to rn transition is very different because um as opposed to starting brand new as a RN, you as an LPN to RN, you get to skip um, courses. You, you get to skip, um, you know, classes that you have taken already, basically. And in order to, you know, get to the level that you should be at, you have to test out those courses. So the fundamentals in nursing, you have to test that out in order to, you know, really be in a med surge, which usually that's where most um lpn to iron transition falls into um so yeah so for the lpn to iron transition um it is easy but also not easy the reason why i'm saying it is because it's easy because um you already know the basics you're comfortable with what you know already you already learned everything that you need to know um, however, because in, if you have been an LPN for years and years, it might be a struggle for you because the mindset of being an LPN is very different from starting over as an RN because you because the stuff that you know as an LPN you have to leave that behind because um, because you're gonna learn new things as an RN. Um, you're gonna have more details, really more stuff added to the stuff that you already know. So that's why I say it's easy but not easy um just because of the mindset um of being an lpn um when i was when i did the lpn to iron transition for me it was easy because i was already comfortable i was already confident that's what i meant to say i was confident with what i was learning i knew what i was reviewing and it obviously added up more to that um so this it really helped for me to just start to start from my LPN and then go from my LPN to RN transition so that way I can skip the fundamentals because we already know the fundamentals but um, so it makes it easier for me for that transition um, one thing I do want to say though when you do an LPN to RN transition um, the expectations are very high only because especially with the teachers because they want you they know that you know these things but they also want you to be able to apply um what you learn into the real world quicker um a lot easier but sometimes it's not that easy because rn school is stressful whether you go from lpn to rn or rn straight it's going to be stressful regardless i was stressed okay y'all i was very stressed and even though i knew everything it was very stressful because um, new materials were being added in I had to update what I already knew and so it made things a little bit difficult for me um, I'm not gonna lie I thought I was gonna fail I thought I was gonna quit this this program because it was just doing way too much um, but I passed and I'm gonna tell y'all the reason how I passed is because when I first entered the program I told myself that um, I will be a blank canvas and what I mean is that I'm gonna act like I don't know nothing. That's pretty much it. I don't know anything. I just know that I'm confident enough to apply what I learned into the real world. Um, so anything that I learned in class, I just acted like I didn't know what it was. I didn't know anything at all. And it kind of worked in my favor because by doing that, it makes it easier for me to separate my LPN mindset into the RN mindset. So it doesn't feel like too much is going on in my head. It's just that the only thing that's different is just that my confidence level is here. I say it's super high, but it's here. Even though I was still stressed, I had to think about, okay, I'm not an LPN anymore. I'm an RN student. So whatever I do, whatever I test on, has to be an uh, RN, uh, um, RN mindset. Can be for L from an LPN mindset because, again, LPNs have very limited um things that they can do within the scope within their scope of practice for rn you know it's very different so being a blank canvas definitely helps and i think i would recommend anybody that as an lpn or paramedic or whichever they can do so you know they can force themselves to say hey i don't know anything whatever i learn in class that's as an rn not as an lpn yes i know some of the words are very familiar to me but at the same time i don't know anything 
I'm confident enough but at the same time I do not know anything so that really helped out with my studying with my testing and so that's why I think that this is something that I think people should really you know think about when they do LP into transition and um, and I do hope that if you guys are any are interested in doing an LP into iron transition course I think you guys should do it you know it definitely makes the time go quicker and you just have to think about how you have to separate your mindset uh, from being an RPN to the RN to make the transition a lot easier for you. And yeah, so that's it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and um, I will see you guys next time.